Hello, I'm Bob Metcalf, inventor of Ethernet, and now 39 years later, I'm professor of innovation at the University of Texas. It's going to be my great pleasure today to introduce a new generation of Ethernet, Carrier Ethernet 2.0. And yes, this is not the first time a new Ethernet has been introduced. Since its inception in 1973, there have been many new Ethernets. From its humble 2.94 megabit per second beginnings in our lab in Palo Alto, Ethernet has constantly reinvented itself. According to IDC, last year, 2011, over 1.2 billion new Ethernet ports were shipped, 400 million wired and 800 million Wi-Fi. And even after an increase in five orders of magnitude of speed, build it and they will come still holds true. It's been more than a decade since Ethernet ventured out into the wide area network, and seven years since we defined the first carrier class networks and services that we all now know as carrier Ethernet. For the first time, Ethernet services were standardized, triggering adoption in more than 100 countries, 40 billion in revenue, and tens of millions of Ethernet service locations. More than 1,000 products and services bear the MEF certified logo from 150 companies around the world. MEF has grown to close to 200 members with aggregate MEF member market capitalization well exceeding $1.5 trillion. This standardization fueled a transformation with carrier Ethernet obsoleting Sonnet TDM and becoming the service of choice that we enjoy today. Just as the web browser revolutionized the efficiency and usability of the internet, a new Ethernet will revolutionize the efficiency and usability of Ethernet service delivery. So it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you a new generation of Ethernet, Carrier Ethernet 2.0. So what is CE 2.0? Why is it different? How will it benefit the millions who use Carrier Ethernet now and the coming millions of new users? I cannot think of a better individual to answer these questions than Nan Chen, founder and president of MEF. Nan has been at the forefront of creating and driving carrier Ethernet for the last 10 years. Nan? Thanks, Bob. It's been well over a year in preparation and hard work leading to today. We at MEF are so excited about CE 2.0, which is a generationally more advanced and in a position to really change the industry again. Our first generation of carrier Ethernet enabled standardized Ethernet services to be delivered over a single provider's network. This second generation, C2.0, can be best defined by its ability to deliver differentiated applications over interconnected, managed networks globally. In other words, C1.0 is about standardization of Ethernet services, C2.0 that were compatible to 1.0 is characterized by three powerful standardized features, multiple class of service, also known as multi-cause, interconnect, and manageability over eight services, which is more than twice as many supported in 1.0. The approval of key MEF specifications and implementation agreement in January 2012 really marks the tipping point that this new generation of services and networks can now be confidently deployed as a new industry standards and provide a new dimensions for continued industry growth and prosperity. So what is a 2.0? C2.0 is characterized by a number of supported services and features. C2.0 greatly expands from three Ethernet services in the first generation to eight Ethernet services, two of each in E-Line, E-LAN, E-Tree, and E-Access, as defined in MEF service specification and implementation agreement. Furthermore, C2.0 supports newly standardized and powerful service features, multi-cost, interconnect, and manageability, all of which are delivered through tightly integrated and inherently connected service attributes implementation agreement, and management specifications. Let me explain a bit further. Newly defined multi-cost extensions now, for the first time, standardize performance objectives 
across a variety of geographic performance tiers and applications. This results in improved quality of service and optimized efficiency on a global scale. The interconnect specifications expand the influence and reach of carrier Ethernet worldwide. And new management specifications provide affordable scalability and measurability not previously possible. The mobile backhaul implementation agreement creates a standard for efficient and reliable 4G mobile backhaul networking services, furthermore delivering significant backhaul savings for mobile operators and revenue opportunities for access providers through multi-cost enabled interconnects. As you can see, C2.0 is generationally advanced networks and services characterized by three powerful and standardized features, multi-cost, interconnect, and manageability over eight Ethernet services. So how does this translate in values to the market? To find out who better to answer than my partner, Mike Vogende, chairman of the MEF board and director of advanced networking product transformation at Verizon. Mike? Thanks, Nan. Carry Ethernet 2.0 is not just defined by the technical work and specifications, but by the incremental value it brings to an expanded carry Ethernet community. For example, support of multiple classes of service itself is not new. Rather, its standardization with performance objectives for each service class defined, which is new. So now you know what performance you can expect for each class supported. This means you can have consistent performance levels and associated SLAs no matter who you interconnect with. For the enterprise, it means there should not be surprises or differences in the performance aspect of the SLA regardless of the office location. For the retail service provider, it's the guarantee of certain performance criteria, whether on or off net. For the wholesale provider, it's the standard definition of the minimum performance that must be delivered from the access network. Efficient service delivery translates directly to cost savings and quality delivery of high performance applications. For example, secure SLA enforced delivery of cloud services alongside corporate applications are all furthered by Carry Ethernet 2.0. Carry Ethernet 2.0's interconnection standards advance efficiencies for global interconnectivity. This is essential for enterprises to expand rapidly based upon business needs, never to be limited by geography. To small and medium businesses, Carry Ethernet 2.0's standardized multi-class of service further enables internet and hosted services to be accessed via a single Carry Ethernet connection, yet with higher SLAs for those hosted services. This enables enterprise quality networking for small and medium businesses for those applications that require high performance and secure delivery. Carry Ethernet 2.0 standards are not limited to business service users. It will also positively impact mobile operators. The migration of mobile backhaul to carrier Ethernet and 4G build-out are well documented and of massive scale. Carry Ethernet 2.0 standards lay the foundation for additional efficiencies and cost savings for mobile operators through implementation of mobile backhaul specific performance objectives, packet and network based synchronization, resiliency performance, and service OEM fault management. Turning to service providers and equipment manufacturers implementing Carry Ethernet 2.0 standards, the ability to reach vast numbers of locations locally, regionally, and globally is made more efficient with the introduction of standardized wholesale e-access and standardized engineering over distance from multiple classes of service. E-access standardization will further the buying and selling of wholesale services, enabling additional providers to more easily join the carry Ethernet community. This, of course, all good news for manufacturers. Carry Ethernet equipment sales continue to rise. Carry Ethernet 2.0 opens up additional new markets and possibilities to continue that growth trend. In summary, Carry Ethernet 2.0 standards address many key requirements. First, multi-class of service standards enable increased efficiency of Carry Ethernet support of both wire and wireless network providers. Second, 
Interconnect standards allows for more efficient expansion of Ethernet service footprints. And third, manageability standards enable more consistent performance throughput to better accommodate SLAs to customers. Carry Ethernet 2.0 represents a significant milestone in the industry partnering to enable delivery of next generation Ethernet standards to the global marketplace. CE 2.0 is not just a standard on paper. In fact, CE 2.0 implementation is already well underway by MEF members. The details of CE 2.0 are available now on MEF website. Over the next several quarters, the MEF while providing in-depth seminars, workshops, conference appearances, and guidance on how to implement C2.0. And yes, once again, MEF certification will play a vital role of speeding installation, creating interoperable baseline, and establish elevated recognition for those who bring C2.0 benefits to the market. And yes, C2.0 certification will be available soon. Carry Ethernet Generations outline a framework and roadmap for our continued effort and development at the MEF and for the entire industry. Future CE generation networks and services will be geared towards ever more simple and automated service delivery. But that is a story for another day. For now and the foreseeable future, CE 2.0 the generationally advanced network and services with multi-cause, interconnect, and manageability over eight services is in a position to deliver unmatched values to all stakeholders and in a position to change the industry again. Perhaps most remarkable is that almost 40 years later, the growth of Ethernet is so strong and innovation is still hard at work. You know, every time we look at a reinvention of Ethernet, we're always left with the same conclusion. This is just the beginning. We would encourage everyone to join us here at MAF in changing the world again with a new generation of Ethernet, Carrier Ethernet 2.0. Until we meet again.